Praise God, folks. This is Old Truth Speaker. Coming back at y'all. It's been about oof, two and a half to three weeks. You know, been very busy working long hours. Praise God. You know, thank God for my new job. But there's a lot going on in the church world, and I'm only going to be a few minutes. This is, in the name of this, is T, the T.D. Jakes Show Mind, Body, and Soul. And the 200 and $67.10 ticket. Now, I am just want to know is, now, at first he was a bishop. Now, I used to watch Bishop Jakes uh, years ago, you know, when he first <coughs> coming on TV, where he taught the gospel. But, you know, I'm not slamming the man or begging him. So, no, you know, nobody sent me an email and, uh, texting me or whatever, uh, emailing, oh, oh, he's wrong, he, you're wrong, he's preaching the gospel. No. This is about what would Jesus do. Now he's a motiva he's, a, he's not only a preacher, he's a motivational speaker, best-selling author, counselor, philanthropist, movie director, and now he's got his own TV show. And I, I, I don't understand. What is he? What, what, what is he? You know, I'm just, I'm just asking a, a question. Would Jesus do this? And it cost, I've got it where it cost almost over two hundred and sixty dollars to get a good seat at the mega fest with, with him and Oprah, and, and uh, he had a lot of other celebrities there. Yeah, and but Oprah doesn't believe in Jesus. I, I I mean, she believes in a God, and she has her own religion. So what what com, you know a companion has darkness with light. What companion has the, the 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 temple of God with that of demons and death? What I'm what I'm saying is I'm I'm just confused and I like your opinion. What would Jesus do? Would Jesus charge all this money to go? Now I'm not t just talking labeling him a, a prosperity preacher, which we all know that you know. Uh, but, but let me let me give you an example of a scripture. Acts chapter eight verse twenty. Now, Acts chapter 8, verse 20, says, mm, This is Peter. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Now, you had people there who, who preached this, unless you tithe or do this or pay this or, or, or with certain prosperity pimps, that you're going to go to hell. Or you're, but see, the kingdom of God is not in words, but in power. That's what that says. So I don't care what you're proclaiming, unless you have a close walk with God in your soul. Out. I don't care how many TV shows. I don't care how many mega churches you have. I don't care how many airplanes or jets that you have. Unless you walk in the power of God, you are not who you're supposed to be. Now, I mean, I know we have different levels uh, uh, according to our faith. But we have a, 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 a church that is filled with nothing but greed. That's the motivation, not Christ, not the Holy Spirit, but greed. But again, I'm, I'm just getting back to this. What is T.D. Jakes do? What, what, what is he? Is he a pastor, a motivational speaker? Are he, is he all these rolled into one? Would Jesus approve of this? You know, that's, would Jesus approve? Do you understand where I'm coming from? This, what is he? What, what is T.D. Jakes? What is he doing? Now, before he used to preach the gospel, and I mean, he, he really, wow, he... He was on fire for God, and you know. But now I'm not. I'm like I said. I'm not. I'm not slamming the man, and I'm just curious as to just what is what is T D J. Is he like a, a psychiatrist? Uh, uh, well, I know that he's, he's got a man of many different hats: motivational speaker and all this kind of. Wow, you know. But does God dwell in all this? What's your opinion? I'm just asking you. What does God dwell in all this? Let me read you this. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. You have great motivational speakers, great orators. They have great skills to entice the crowds. 
But are you speaking with the power of the Holy Spirit? Are you speaking with anointing? There's a difference with somebody speaking with, like we used to say, the gift of gab. And speaking with the power of God on it, you know. So, what's your thoughts? Just, just let me know. What, what, what is TD Jakes? What, what, what is he doing? You know. God bless you, folks, and just pray for our country. God bless you.